definitely, yes. You mean? You fit into my plans. You're so... Uh, debonair? Well, no. Uh, dangerous? Well, not exactly. That uh, charming devil may care? Obsolete. <laughs> Obsolete? What I mean is that they don't make boys like you anymore. You know, thanks a lump. But you're so homey and comfy. Like deep dish apple pie, galoshes. Is that good? <laughs> oh, for me, that's good. Oh, I'm a love. Over here, Daddy. Good, good. I see you got to lumber. Thanks, Mr. Now we Gillis. can start yeah. building a platform from the start. Oh, well, how, how do you, you do, do Mr. Gillis? You do? Did you have much trouble getting up here? All it took was a little ambition drive and initiative. <laughs> ambition drive? <laughs> Mr. Gillis works for your daddy, and oh. this is my mother. Uh, how do you do? And just what do you do at the company, Mr. Gillis? He's a janitor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but he won't be for long, will he, Daddy? Well, I... Oh, Pamela, I do wish you'd get over this Pygmalion complex of yours. A janitor, really. I was just telling Mr. Gillis about your a basket to the poor charity bazaar. And I hope it's a great success, ma'am. Well, if it is, I shall see to it personally that your family gets a nice full one. I don't think I understand, Mother. Mr. Gillis is going to be my escort. He is? He is? I am? No, you most definitely are. A janitor. Oh, dear. The papers, our social position, this will never do. Well, that's what I was thinking about putting Mr. Gillis in the junior executive training program. Oh. Junior executive training program? Well, I suppose it is the only answer. Woodrow? Oh, I suppose I can hammer him in somewhere. Uh, we better go have a talk with Mr. Erdlatz. I'm sure he'll be delighted. Uh, what did you say your name was? Dobie Gillis. Dobie Gillis? He doesn't sound awesome. Oh. My, don't you look nice, uh, both of you. Good evening, Mrs. Lumpkin. Good evening, Pamela. Nice Come sweet. along, Woodrow. The guests are arriving. You too, Pamela. I'll be there in just a minute. Toby, dear, why don't you go get yourself something to eat? Oh, good idea. <laughs> Gloria? Gloria, you're working here? Why not? I'm a waitress, true. Gloria. Uh, may I Gloria. help you, sir? Gloria, I've been meaning um, to have a little talk with some you. Some caviar, patty de foie gras, cheese. Gloria, I know you think I'm just a rat in a mouse suit. Gillis! Come over here. I want you to meet some people. You better shove off, Dobie. It's not going to do your career any good slumming with the hired hands. Slumming? See on the society page, personality boy. Remember, there's always room at the top as long as you've got ambition, drive, and no conscience. And you don't care whose heart you break. Gloria. 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 Thank you, Gloria. For what? You've made me see what I've become. Don't go away. I'll be back the minute I've done it. Done what? The decent thing. <laughs> Pamela. Pamela. Oh, Dobie, come on. Guess who just got here? Teddy and Bunny and Kiki and Baba and Boo Boo. Teddy and Bunny? And Kiki and Baba and Boo Boo. They just flew in from Bermuda. Come on, you're just gonna love them. No, I'm not, Pamela. Because I'm not gonna meet him. What? I'll make this fast, Pamela. The surgeon's quick knife is kinder after all. Oh, Dobie, you've been at the champagne. No, Pamela. What I'm trying to say is we're finished. Finished? It isn't that I don't like you, because I do. You're beautiful and sweet and the kind of girl I always dreamed about. The trouble is, I can't figure out whether it's you I love or the Lumpkin Lumber Company. I see. Uh, you've been talking to that waitress. Yes, I have. But that's not the point. The point is... But if you're going to be successful, you're going to be successful on your own, not because you're the boyfriend of the boss's daughter. True? True. Don't be there's something you don't understand. I don't care if you're successful. I want you for yourself. You mean you'd be poor with me? Oh, happily. You'd live on frankfurters and beans, do your own housework, make your own clothes? Oh, I'd take in washing if necessary. You? Well, why not? I've done it lots of times. Like when? Well, once when I was on a camping trip, I did my own socks. Really? All by yourself? Okay, so I'm used to servants and luxuries and the finer things of life. But you're willing to give them up for me? Oh, I'm willing to try. And if it doesn't work? Oh, it'll work. And if it doesn't? Well, well, then we'll simply ask Daddy to give us a little help. Like maybe build us a little cottage, just 14 little rooms, and put a couple of cars in our garage. Little cars, of course. Dobie, I don't mind being poor, but I don't think there's any need to be ostentatious about it. Pamela, you really are a wonderful girl, and maybe I'm a jerk not to grab you. What do you mean, maybe? Okay, I'm a jerk. Dobie, I wish I could say I admire your independence. But? But what I really think is that you're some sort of a nut. But no hard feelings. None. 
And if this sudden attack nobility should wear off, there'll be a light burning in my window just for you. Thank you, Pamela. 